And Vini Vini Vici are fielding three Drakes, a Nighthawk, a Dramiel, a Slipnir, and a Curse. And a Scimitar. Yep, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see how this one plays out. Electus Matari, obviously, uh, another group of role players, uh, Min Matara Public Loyalists. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how the role players fare in this one. Do they role play when they are in the tournament as well? Um, they're founded by um, a corporation by the name of Gradient, uh, which are quite uh, heavily immersive role players. So I should imagine that they're all uh, role playing right now as we speak. Fantastic. As immersive as everything is, I believe this is a very good environment for roleplay. It is indeed, and uh, the match is now underway. CCP Claw has given the countdown in local, um, and we aren't seeing much action so far. Oh, we're seeing drones from the uh, Electus Matari side. Yeah, Warrior 2's out for Electus Matari. Um, one of the, uh, it's actually the Scimitar pilot who has dropped the, uh, we drop the Warrior 2s. A hell of a lot more um, drones out as well for them. Warrior 2s, Valkyri 2s, um, all steaming towards the Vinny Vidi Vici team. As the Scimitar pilot for the Electus Matari team moves to uh, get at range. And interestingly uh, yeah. enough, we were, just, uh, we were just talking about this earlier, but Electus Matari field and three Griffins uh, for electronic warfare support. Um, their Basil their um, Scimitar now actually doing an excellent job of keeping them alive. That it is. And the uh, Vini Vidi Vici scimitar is at about 25% uh, shield. Um, the One of the griffins from Electus Matari is getting shot down, but then getting wrapped back up, and may very well pop the next time he gets shot down, and he has. Yep, there he goes, one griffin from Electus Matari down. Um, the entire V3 team's still on the field. Uh, and actually, as you spoke, V3 lost their scimitar. Yep, it always happens. You say one thing and all of a sudden they come out of the woodwork to surprise you. Uh, V3 down the logistics ship now, so we want to hope those drakes are, uh, have a little bit of a tank and can survive long enough. It looks as if um, V3 are actually going after the Electus Matari support first, trying to get rid of those three electronic warfare spamming griffins. That they are, with their logistics pilot, uh, pilot trying to keep up, but the griffins just don't have enough. Um, to counter the DPS with the remote rep, and, and they just end up pop. They just lost another one. Yeah, that's the issue when you feel the frigate. Uh, they're very paper thin. Uh, they don't have a lot of hit points, so enough alpha damage will take them down fairly easy. All three Griffins now off the field from Electus Matari. Um, Electus Matari still fielding a Hurricane, three Drakes, a Slepnir, a Cyclone, and a Scimitar. And Vini Vini Vici still has a Dramiel, a Slipnir, Drake, Nighthawk, Drake, Drake, and a Curse on the field. And it looks like Electus Matari has focused on, ooh, but had focused on their, on uh, Vini Vini Vici's Curse, and it is now dead. Yep, amazing to see just how much damage uh, a couple of uh, Matari command ships can do. Uh, we can see that Jilnor of uh, Gradient. Um, Flying the Slepnir for Electus Matari, uh, dipping into low shields. Um, looks as if we may lose him soon. Yeah, it's been amazing all day, actually. We, it tends to follow a pattern of uh, shield starts to slip, sheet starts to slip, bada bing, bada boom, the ship is gone. You don't even have time to comment on it as the Slepnir dips to 25% shield. Uh, it looks like uh, Electus Matari is focusing on the Vidi Vidi Vici Nighthawk. Yeah, we can see there, Jill Nor of uh, Gradient of Electus Matari, uh, just about hanging around at 20% uh, shields. I should imagine that there are uh, the Scimitar pilots working flat out to try and keep him alive right now. He's trying very hard, but that Nighthawk had just exploded. So, all right. As the yep. Slipnir dips into armor, and there we go, just like before. Immediately 50% armor, and we'll see how long that holds up. Yeah, hopefully we can see the Scimitar pilot get a couple more cycles of the remote repping on there. Um, he's just managed, but yep, Jilnor of uh, Lexus Matari heading firmly towards structure there. Um, we've also got the uh, Slepnir of um, V3 uh, heading towards armor 2 at the same time. Uh, actually, into structure now as we speak. Both Slipnirs, no, 
Jilnor is still standing, but Sir Stronghand appears to have not had that strong a hand. And that is a big chunk of DPS from um, from the V3 team being lost in the form of Lotslut near um, the Dra the three Drakes and the Dramiel still on the field. Um, Jilnor is just hanging in there. He's uh, hanging on by the skin of his teeth, a uh, circle of uh, gradient of Electus Matari, keeping him alive quite firmly uh, with his remote logistics there. But it looks as if the V3 team have actually started to fire on uh, on the logistics ship, the scimitar of Electus Matari now, in an attempt to try and get rid of him. Uh, one of the Drakes also taking heavy fire. Yeah, I was going to say, as they do that and, and start to try and focus on that scimitar, um, their two and three are Drake's shield. The Drake's shield uh, of Vini Vini Vici at about 10% now, and once that shield drops, that Drake is gone, which will leave uh, Vini Vini Vici with uh, two Drakes and a Dramiel. And uh, here it goes. Oh, and Jilnor from uh, Lexus Matari just hanging in there with uh, with roughly about 40% structure. Um, Sickly there uh, must be working overtime to uh, to keep him alive. That's um, excellent logistics pilot in my opinion. Uh, hanging on till the last second to try and keep him afloat. Uh, we can see uh, Jade Ocelot of V3 um, hovering around 60% shield in a Drake there, uh, just about to start to go down. That he is. He's in about 50%, uh, 50, well, now 25% shield, dropping a little faster. Um, and as the shield goes, so will go the Drake. Um, Jilnor, again, surprisingly still hanging on. And uh, yep. he could go all the way. Yeah, this has almost been on the verge of, um, of Hero Slepnir, to be honest. He's just, say, hanging in there. Um, Peaking back up to about 25% shields. Um, if uh, well, V3 have just lost another Drake there, so um, they might not have the DPS uh, to bring Jilnor down now. Oh, I'm pretty sure if they didn't have the DPS with three, they're not going to have it with one, and uh, we're going to see that Drake kind of trickle down, and this is going to go to Electus Matari. Yeah, excellent logistics pilot in there from um, Electus Matari. Um, that's all that can be said, really. I mean, they've kept that guy alive absolutely superbly. You can see there, Cronius Mercury from uh, V3. Heavily in the shield in his Drake, and he's going to melt in a few seconds. Yes, which will leave a lone Dramiel on the field for um, Vidi Vidi Vici. Um, and the Electus Matari team still remains Drake, Scimitar, Drake, Drake, Sleipnir, Cyclone, Hurricane. Unfortunately, this will destroy CCP Soundwave's um, Drake statistics. Yes, this is a problem, um, and we need to repair this quite quickly by killing a lot more drakes. Um, only a Dramiel now on the field for V3. Um, pretty much all of the um, the Electus Matari's um, teams still intact, apart from their EW support frigates. And the Dramiel itself, in uh, with about 25% shields left, um, and it looks like he's trying to pull away. Um, perhaps to do uh, what I like to refer to as the arena orbit maneuver. Yep, he's been chased by three Tech 2 warrior light drones though, so um, he's hopefully going to get spanked a little bit and this won't go on too long, but he's out there right on the edge of the boundary um, and hopefully EM can dispatch him before... Uh...